another day, another hustle. Welcome back, Duckies. This is Review with Ree. So, we survived chemistry. Barely. <laughs> and now, for today's master list, we move on to its ever-elusive sister. Physics. <laughs> I know. Pero, unlike chemistry, at least... Must my chance tayo dito. The key is just to practice, practice, practice. So again, if you're feeling lost, unsure where a topic starts or ends, or whether reviewing it is even worth your time. Can Jana, can Jana. I got you, Doki. This is quite lengthy, so let's get right into it. So a bit of an introduction muna tayo. Kasi nga, physics is a bit of a complicated topic. So it's best if we know the basics, right? We have our units. In junior high, we were taught both metric system and English system. But here in NMAT, we only stick with a metric system, okay? I've never encountered a question that asks for English units. So we only do system international or SI units, otherwise known as your metric system. Other thing you need to be familiar with before diving into physics is your quantities. We have here both fundamental as well as your derived quantities. If you remember, fundamental quantities includes your mass, length, and time. Their units consequently would be kilogram, meter and your second right but in derived that is when you combine these fundamental quantities okay there are a lot of fundamental quantities more than just the three i mentioned so if you combine the fundamental quantities you get your derived example of that would be meter times meter that is your area okay so that's for quantities what else we have derivations this is basically just your derived quantities how they got there okay so in physics, there are a lot of formulas you need to memorize. So if you don't want to memorize, it's better to just embed it in your entire being. And the way to do that is to master derivations. For example, force. Force is your mass times acceleration, right? Now, if you do... Combine this force with distance. What does that give you? That is your work. Okay, so the formula for work meaning Has the formula for force in it. So another way to write it would be mass times acceleration times distance That is also work, right? So that's what derivations is like. So for each and every formula in physics there's a derivation of where those units came from. So that's basically it. In physics, there are a lot of topics, but we have two main branches. And that would be your classical as well as your modern physics. And we will be discussing in this video all of the topics under both of these branches. Starting off with our classical physics. Under this one, we have mechanics. Includes your statics. What is statics? It's the branch of physics that deals with the forces acting on objects that are in equilibrium, meaning they are either at rest or moving without acceleration, okay? So that's statics. Under here, we find the conditions for equilibrium as well as your torque. Another one we have kinematics. Now this one is the branch of physics that deals with motion without considering the forces that cause it. We have our scalar versus vector quantities, speed versus velocity as well as your acceleration. We have here our rectilinear motion, our free fall, which is similar. Uh, some parts of the formula for free fall are included in projectile motion. And lastly, for kinematics, we have our uniform circular motion, otherwise known as your centripetal motion. What else? We have dynamics. Uh, it deals with the relationship between motion and this time, the forces that cause it. Remember, in kinematics, it's only motion. No mention of the forces. The forces, however, are mentioned in dynamics now already. 
Okay. We have our types of forces. We have their contact, which is your applied force, normal force, tension, spring, and then friction, which involves your static and kinetic friction. This is where that comes in. We also have here our non-contact, which involves your electric force, magnetic force, and gravitational force. We have superposition of forces, which could be seen when you draw the free body diagram. There are questions that show a free body diagram and then they ask you uh, which forces uh, goes in which direction, okay? And then we also have Newton's three laws of motion. Work, energy, and power. We have here your positive, negative, and zero work, your kinetic potential and mechanical energy, your law of conservation of mechanical energy, as well as your work energy theorem. We also have our power. Familiarize already the formulas for each of these ones. And our last one for mechanics, we have momentum and collisions. We have the law of conservation of momentum. We also have impulse and the impulse momentum theory, as well as your types of collisions. Let's go to acoustics. Basically just your waves and sound. We have here the nature of waves. Uh, the difference between mechanical versus electromagnetic waves, as well as your transverse versus longitudinal. Properties of sound waves, including your wavelength, amplitude, difference between crest and trough, and then we have frequency and period, and then speed, as well as the difference between frequency and pitch. Another one, we have sound waves across mediums, how it differs uh, in air as opposed to solids and Doppler effect. On to our optics. This one is just your light and vision. The nature of light. You also have your properties of light waves involving your reflection and refraction. So we have law of reflection, index of refraction, law of refraction, as well as your total internal reflection. So get to know these already. We also have dispersions and prisms. Mirrors and lenses, this one, I've already covered in a tutorial before. Just a cheat sheet of how to answer mirrors and lenses easily, but I'll most likely release a mini lecture soon so that you'd know from start to finish how to properly answer mirrors and lenses the long way. Okay, but if you want the short way, just go ahead and watch uh, the cheat sheet video already. Plane versus spherical mirror, okay? We've discussed this, remember? Concave versus convex in both mirror and lenses. We have image formation or your ray diagram. Magnification formula for both. Mirror formula. Thin lens equation. Power of a lens as well as your lens maker's equation. Oh my god, a whole lot of formulas. Do remember. But kaya nyo to, dokis. Malit lang to compared to med school. So, kaya kaya. Kakayanin. Electromagnetism. First, we have electricity. It has very high yield when it comes to the end map. They always come out. I think in mine, I got like three questions for this one. Current, voltage, and resistance. Also, your conductor, insulator, and semiconductor. Ohm's law. Remember that. V is equal to IR, right? Electric power. Your P is equal to VI, right? And then your simple circuits, you have your series, parallel, and your combined series and parallel circuits. You also have Coulomb's law and your electric fields. For magnetism, we have your magnetic fields as well as your magnetic force. Just the basic concepts. Lastly, electromagnetic induction. You have your quantities, your inductance, and your capacitance, which is kind of like sisters of your voltage resistance as well. And then we have inductor and capacitor, stored energy, the formulas for that one, as well as your Faraday's law. Lastly, for our classical physics, we have thermodynamics, which is also a part of your chemistry. So in physics, only a small percentage of questions come out in thermodynamics, most likely because most comes out in your chemistry. For physics, however, what may come out would be your unit conversions, right? from your Celsius to Fahrenheit to calories and then joules. As well as your methods of heat transfer, very easy. 
uh, you have their conduction, convection, as well as radiation. So, quite a lot, but that's that for classical physics. Quantum physics. We have here the dual nature of light, as the light is both a wave and a particle, as well as Einstein's equation on your photoelectric effect. In nuclear physics, we have here your nuclear fission and fusion, the difference between the two, as well as your radioactive decay and half-life. Familiar? It's also in your chemistry subtest. In radioactive decay, you just have to be acquainted with alpha, beta, and gamma decay, as well as your half-life and decay equations. Lastly, we have our atomic physics. I don't really see much of atomic physics question in the subtest, most likely because it's already in chemistry. There we have it. Physics subtest from start to finish. I know it's one of the more intimidating subtests, which is why along with chemistry, I took it into account and released both master lists first because they're the ones you're going to have to need to spend more time on. Because Okay, so I'm giving you a head start already. Despite the formulas, the laws, and the diagrams, with the right study ethic and this master list, it's totally doable, you guys. Kaya ang kaya. Kakayanin. Personally, I like to think kasi of physics as a muscle, right? That I constantly need to exercise. So, wag tayong basa lang ng basa, dokis, i-apply din natin, right? The best way to do that is you do your practice questions. Once you constantly solve the equations, the formulas would come out just like muscle memory. I swear. Now, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, comment, or share it with your friends. I accept topic suggestions for my upcoming tutorial videos in physics. So, comment lang kayo kung ano yung gusto nyong i-cover ko next. And gagawin natin yan, okay? And if you haven't yet, please subscribe as well as check out the free G Drive in the posts tab uh, in my channel here in YouTube. So, just refer to the post for instructions on how to access the G Drive with all the review materials waiting for you. That is all for this video. This has been Review with Re, reminding you that the hours you've put in will never amount to nothing. Bye!